a global trend of anti-Chinese sentiment. In recent years, attacks on Chinese workers across various regions have become increasingly common, sparking concerns over the root causes and potential consequences of this global trend. The rise in violence targeting Chinese nationals is often tied to a mix of economic frustrations, political tensions, and deeply ingrained cultural differences. The phenomenon is not confined to a single region, but rather spans multiple countries with varying triggers. Here are some examples. 1. Pakistan One of the most prominent countries experiencing frequent attacks on Chinese workers is Pakistan. The recent suicide bombing on October 6, 2024, near Karachi Airport, which resulted in the deaths of two Chinese citizens, is a stark reminder of the dangerous environment many Chinese workers face there. The Balochistan Liberation Army, BLA, a separatist group, claimed responsibility for the attack, motivated by grievances over the exploitation of local resources by Chinese companies as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. Numerous other attacks in Pakistan have followed a similar pattern, often targeting high-profile Chinese personnel involved in development projects. 2. Africa Africa, particularly in resource-rich countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, has also witnessed a spate of attacks on Chinese workers. In July 2024, six Chinese nationals and two Congolese soldiers were killed in an attack at a gold mine in eastern DRC. Chinese-owned businesses and mining operations in Africa have been seen as exploitative by locals, resulting in tensions between local communities and Chinese investors. 3. South Africa In South Africa, economic anxieties have fueled xenophobic violence, with Chinese immigrants and businesses often targeted. The perception that Chinese investments harm local job opportunities has sparked resentment, leading to verbal and physical attacks on Chinese nationals. 4. Western countries. Even in countries like the United States and Australia, anti-Chinese sentiment has risen sharply, exacerbated by political rhetoric and fears of Chinese influence. Although the nature of the attacks in these countries is more subtle, often manifesting in discrimination or verbal harassment, they highlight the broad reach of anti-Chinese feelings on a global scale. The attacks on Chinese workers can be traced back to several core issues. Economic inequality. Many countries that are heavily involved with Chinese development projects face deep economic challenges. The influx of Chinese workers is often seen as contributing to job displacement for locals, particularly in countries where local hiring is limited. This has caused tensions between communities and the foreign workforce, with Chinese nationals becoming easy targets for frustrated populations political tensions, geopolitical rivalries between China and the West, as well as tensions with neighboring countries, have fueled anti-Chinese rhetoric. In Pakistan, for instance, separatist groups like the BLA view China's growing economic footprint as a threat to their autonomy and local resource control. The Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. A double-edged sword, China's ambitious BRI project, which aims to strengthen trade routes and foster economic partnerships across the globe, has been at the heart of many of these tensions. While the initiative has poured billions into infrastructure projects and boosted economic ties with developing countries, it has also brought challenges, particularly regarding local employment and resource management. Countries like Pakistan and those in Africa heavily involved in BRI projects have seen a surge in local resentment. The feeling that Chinese investments prioritize Chinese workers and interests over local needs has intensified attacks on Chinese nationals.